Hi, this is Mike with Rainy Cleaning and Construction, LLC. I just wanted to tell you more about today about my cleaning truck. Uh, get a lot of questions about my setup. There's a lot of equipment in the back um, and I'm moving actually most of my equipment into a trailer. So before I did that, I wanted to kind of walk through and show you kind of what we, what we have here. So in the back, I have my eight gallon per minute pressure washer. Uh, this is a Honda GX 690 with a key start, which is very cool. Okay, so this is the bypass valve for the pressure washer. So when you let go of the, uh, the gun pressure, the water goes back into the tank. And this tank uh, comes in on this backside into the pump here. You need to have a pump for, I'm sorry, a tank for eight gallon per minute pressure washers because the hose at the faucet can't keep up. Um, this is my regular garden hose. This fills both my water tank and I use it for my uh, window cleaning rig. This here is my automatic hose reel. Um, this is half inch Flexzilla hosing for uh, soft washing. This is uh, my soft washing gun that I made here. Um, it's got different tips as well for different distances and sprays. Walking around the back here. I'm gonna open it up. So I built this platform here with this cover here. So this holds the hose reels up and also have some storage underneath here. Um, this is a bucket I just have for, uh, I do a lot of gutter cleaning right now in the fall. Um, here is my pressure washing hose reel. So this is the pressure washing. I have actually more hose underneath um, this thing in the drawers. Up here in the back, I'm gonna get up actually in here and show you kind of what we have. So here, I'm gonna take the video for one second. So I have the big tank right here. That's my main water tank. Right here, I have my soap tank or surfactant for uh, roof cleaning and house washing. On the left here is my bleach tank. Uh, we use 12% bleach. Um, and you can see on the top, I have these cool valves. So that, uh, so on the, the bottom here, that can turn off the flow to and from the soap tank. And then the valve on the left here is for water. So when I wanna clear my lines, I close off that valve, open that valve, and then the draw valve or the draw tube right here pulls water straight out of the main tank and i have that same setup on the bleach tank as well so i can clear out my uh my pump and everything then i also have the gas tank right here uh this is for the pressure washer here's my pure water system this is for window cleaning um i can go over that later in a different video and this hose reel on the back here that is also for my uh, window cleaning setup. Up in this big tube right here, I have my different poles. So here's some tubing for my pure water system. And these are my carbon fiber poles. These go 40 feet high. So with the system I have, I can do a 40 foot building. Um, but they do go up to 90 put this back later I'm gonna show you real quick under here I have in my storage thing I have a blower a weed whacker my power washing gun I have a broom push broom and a shovel this right here is a uh, sump pump for when I'm pressure washing so that there's no runoff into storm drains or whatnot then I have these two pull-out drawer things underneath here I have hoses brushes gutter tools and I have a string on here to pull this second one out so more pressure washing tubing I have another 50 feet in here plus some extra hoses and things like that around here to the side I have my um, surface cleaner here you can pause it for a second. all right so in this little cabinet here I have a few different things so this is my soft washing setup I have a marine battery right here this is hooked up to a seven gallon per minute electric pump and then this goes to this proportioner valve so what the proportioner valve does, on the top is water, I'm sorry, on the top is bleach, 
the middle is soap and the bottom is water. So I can set up different uh, values. You can see there's a little graph right here. So on the, if I'm gonna do a roof, you're gonna wanna have a stronger bleach content. And if I'm gonna do the siding, you're gonna have a lot less. So I can go up to 6% 6, 6 bleach for a roof down to, to nothing for the siding of a house. Um, and then there's also like random batteries, things like that. I have a whole bunch of fittings in here. So like I said, I'm moving all this stuff into a trailer. So part of the reason is I'll show you, I have window cleaning on the inside here and I'm basically running out of space. So here is where I have my window cleaning set up. We have uh, just a regular window cleaning bucket. I have towels, so clean microfiber towels, clean surgical towels, here's my dirty towels. Um, I built this little shelf up on top of here. So I have squeegee rubber, shoe covers, sunscreen, flyers, things like that. Um, I have my abrasives for windows, um, more different uh, mops for windows, my pens, all kinds of different random supplies. Um, I also have in here, I have these brushes are for the window cleaning and then under here I have my screen repair kit. So I have all the different um, stuff to fix screens. Uh, I even have gloves in here. I have my pole down here. And on the other side I have a shop vacuum for when I have to do uh, sills. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.